All right, let's just focus now. The future of Kenya's deputy president hangs by a thread. Rigati Gachakua faces the possibility of being impeached and his face, fate rests in the hands of Kenya's Senate. Lawmakers in Kenya's Senate have begun impeachment hearings against their deputy president. The Senate read out 11 charges that the leader is facing. These include corruption, undermining the government and stirring ethnic hatred. Gachagua has denied all the charges. The development comes one day after a court declined to stop the Senate vote from going ahead, citing that it is a constitutional proceeding. The deputy president had attempted to block the process against him by challenging it in court, and this is the second state in the process. After Kenya's National Assembly voted overwhelmingly in favor of Gachagua's impeachment last week. Following the investigation process in the Senate, there will be a vote. If at least two-thirds of the Senate votes to uphold the impeachment, the deputy president will be dismissed. The deputy president shall cease to hold office if at least two-thirds of all senators vote to uphold any of the impeachment charges. If, however, the vote in the Senate fails to result in the removal of the, of the deputy president, the Speaker of the Senate shall notify the Speaker of the, Nas of the National Assembly accordingly. Yajigua has alleged that Kenya's President William Ruto is backing the impeachment process and has asked legislators to make their decision without intimidation or coercion. Meanwhile, Ruto is yet to comment publicly on the developments and the possible dismissal that his number two faces. The rift between Ruto and his deputy became publicly known after deadly protests earlier this year against proposed tax increases and the cost of living. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.